The next weekend came so swiftly. It was 12 noon when I woke up. It was my mother's voice. She was going off about how she was not spending one more day caught up in the house. Where was her fucking car? She wanted to know. Today is the day. Today is the day my fucking Benz is supposed to be parked outside of my bedroom window with a big red ribbon on it. Where is it? She demanded. The tone of my mother's voice was rare. I can hardly say I ever remember it being this rough. All I could think is, here go two Concorde jets about to have a head-on collision. My three little sisters came running into my room, stuffing their little bodies under the covers with me. I expected to hear Santiago yell back, but he didn't. Instead, my mother just continued blowing her cool and doing something she told me not to do. She was making it clear who the boss was. A real woman was not supposed to do that. A bad bitch controlled without the man ever knowing that he was being dominated. A bad bitch was so slick that she made him think he was calling the shots while she planted the seeds and was the owner of all his thoughts. Not today. My mom told Santiago she didn't want to hear no shit. He was going out with her today, her birthday, to buy that car. She was leaving with him, she instructed. After his business was transacted, Santiago was to buy that car she had been holding her breath for. She wasn't interested in no other presents, no matter what they were. Through the walls, I can hear the bass in Santiago's voice, but not his exact words. The next loud sound I heard was the door slamming. From the silence, I knew that both of them were gone. As my mother had said last week, she always had her way.